So in addition to my previously released extruder plate, I've also created a new arm. The sock arm is a part that breaks down very often. You almost see this happen to someone every single day. With that in mind, it's good to have one that you can print by yourself instead of having to wait weeks for a replacement. As for the base plate, you do not need any additional parts. Screws and the bearing, all that stuff will be reused from the stock components. As always, you'll find a Thingiverse link in the video description. I'd recommend printing this in PLA at 20% infill. This part is also a very tight fit. Other materials might not work as expected since they shrink differently. So after printing out the two parts, we continue installing our new arm. The first step of course will be to remove the stock part. Unscrew the bottom left allen screw while applying some force to the arm. There's one very short screw among all other screws that hold the plate. You have to find that and save it for later use. Back at the stock arm, you can now take out the long screw and its threaded bushing. With a small flathead screwdriver, you are able to lift up the cap and take out the bearing. After that, you completely salvaged all parts you need to assemble the new arm. Grab your new cap and make sure you put it into the arm the right way around. Make sure the inner fillet of one of the holes is on the side that gets pushed into the arm. This might be a little tricky because it's a very tight fit, but it has to be like this to keep the part rigid. Now take the bearing and put it into the slot. Stick the short screw into the hole and lock the bearing in place. Carefully tighten the screw by applying a downward force. You only have to do a couple of turns. Stop once the head is lined up with the surface of the cap. Finally, take the threaded bushing and put it into the second hole from underneath. This might also be a bit difficult, but we are now ready for installation. First, screw in the long screw until it comes out below the part. Take the spring, push in the arm and tighten the screw. That's it, make a quick visual check that everything's in place. Just in case something breaks, you might first want to print out the second arm as a spare part. I'll hope you enjoy this upgrade, if you do so please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. If you are interested in 3D printing, electronics, programming or mechanical design, you might want to subscribe to my channel. Take care and happy printing!